Hello everybody, I'm Chris Provost and you're watching Provost Park Pass and today it's starting to get the summertime around here at Disneyland and I'm going to show you nine ways to make your summer vacation at Disney even better because it's going to be amazing but we're going to show you nine ways to make it even better. Let's do this here in Disneyland. Nine tips to have the most amazing summer vacation here at Disneyland. Okay, so the number nine thing you need to know when you're coming to Disneyland or Dis DCA during the summertime is you need to hydrate. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. I cannot express this enough. This is where a lot of people, because it gets really hot outside and people, they don't uh, drink enough water. When I say hydrate, I'm talking about water. I'm not talking about Coca-Cola. I'm not talking about coffee. I'm talking about hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. They have lots of different mini marts like this. You go in here and you grab like some water. So like there, grab a water, carry that water around and drink it a lot. If you wait until the end of the day to start drinking water, the next day you'll have a headache, you won't feel very good, and that happens to a lot of people because you're so excited. You're like, oh my gosh, here I am, I'm at Disney. And you forget to drink water. So always remember to have everybody in your party keep drinking water. I cannot express this enough. You have to keep hydrating during the summer months here at, in California because you will get dehydrated. Now, the number eight thing that you need to know here at Disney during the summertime is it's going to get a little more crowded. But that's, hi! It's a little more crowded during the summertime because you know kids are out of school, parents are taking vacation. So it's a little more crowded. So be prepared for that. So there are some ways to beat the crowds. One, you want to be here early and rope drop as fast as you can uh, and get here right as the park opens. Be here a half hour before the park opens. So the park opens at eight, be here at seven, seven thirty. That way you're actually in because they'll let you in the park a little bit early. And there's a, not a lot of crowds at the very beginning of the morning. A lot of also families that end up going back and taking an, after nap, an afternoon nap, which is what I recommend doing as well if you're staying by a hotel close by, take a nap in the afternoon and then come back to the park in the evening because after the fireworks show in the evening, most families leave and then the park is, is pretty, uh, it's not as crowded in the evenings after the fireworks show. So those are some really good tips there on how to have some fun here during the summertime at Disney. Be aware of the crowds, it's getting a little crowded. If you also want, you can get the Genie Plus. I'll help you skip lines. And we have a whole video, I don't know, somewhere around here, it teaches you how to use the Genie Plus effectively to get the most attractions in. All right, let's do number seven. Okay, so the seventh best tip I can give when you're coming down here during the summertime is hydrate. Now, I'm showing this right here. I'm showing soda pop and lemonades. Those are amazing, but you wanna drink water. You gotta drink a lot of water. And people, they get so excited that they forget to drink water. And then at the end of the day, they get like a headache or they don't feel very good. And then the next thing you don't, you don't feel good. So make sure you're drinking a lot of water. So number seven, water, hydrate. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the six best way to enjoy, little secret tip when you're coming down here for a summer vacation at Disney that'll make your vacation even better. All right, you see right down here, this little doodad? This is what I'm talking about right here. This is a fan that fills up with the water. You put water in right there and then you spray this and then the fan goes and it cools you down. These are great things to help you cool down. Okay, so if it gets hot, it's an amazing little tool that you can get. Now, when you buy this, what you wanna do though, you wanna check, there's a certain little thing. See that little pull tab right there? Make sure the pull tab is in there. You pull that out, that activates the batteries to make the fan work. Oh, so if you have one of these here that doesn't have the pull tab, that means that maybe people have been using it, the batteries have been going. So always try to get one with the batteries. The cost here is $22, $23. Now that's a little bit pricey for one of those fans. I'm gonna show you ways you can get one of those fans cheaper. Cheaper. Check this out. Okay, so here I am. I am now at the Viv Hotel. This is where we're staying at on this amazing vacation. And we're inside, they have this little market. Look what they have in the market. They have these cooling fans. And you can buy the cooling fans here and take it in the park before you go to the park. And here the cooling fans are $14.99. And when you're in the park, it's a lot more money than that. So you can get, buy a cooling fan at your hotel or even buy them at like Walmart where they're really cheap and then just take them right into the park. Easy peasy. Okay, let's go back to the park. All right, so here we are back at Disney California Adventure and you get, yeah, those fans are great. Now they do have different types of fans. I'll show you those as well. These are smaller little fans. There's no water component here. If you push the button, they're gonna spin. It's almost like a toy or, or uh, you know, so these are kind of fun for kids, but they do cool you down but it's, I mean, you don't have the water component. And then they also have these other fans here as well. These fans like this, these also work, kind of use that and kind of cool, cool you down. I mean, uh, they're not bad, they work just great. So you get those as well. 
You can't even go to Walmart and get them even cheaper, those water bottles. And they'll let you bring them in. I mean, if you do buy one of those fans, we, I have to be honest with you, sometimes you just forget the water bottle and you get here, it's so hot. You're like, okay, I gotta get one. So you, you get one, not a problem. You can bring it back as many times you come to Disney, they won't let you bring back as much as you want. We bought several of them throughout the years and uh, we use them and use them and use them and use them. So they are a good way to cool down on a hot summer day. Okay, so the number five best tip to have an enjoyable time during summertime here at Disney is hydrate. You need to drink enough water, guys. And if you don't want to buy a bottle of water, you can use a drinking fountain. In fact, they did a whole video about the top five drinking fountains in all of Disneyland. You can watch that video probably here. Um, I'm gonna watch those videos there, but yeah, make sure you're hydrated. Yep, there's a drinking fountain just like this. Make sure you're drinking enough water when you're on your trip, guys. It's important. Let's get on to number four. All right, I'm gonna go into Humphreys here, and they have, I'm gonna show you uh, the number four way to have an enjoyable summer vacation here at Disneyland. You go to most of the gift stores here, but I'm just choosing Humphreys because it's, uh, it's one of my favorite ones to go into. Right outside of Humphreys, you have these right here. These are called cooling towels. You could get them in pink or you could get them in blue. It doesn't really matter. They do the exact same thing. It's just a color preference of what you like better. And what you do is you get this towel and you it's it's kind of this mesh uh, material and you get it put it under water like a drinking fountain or a sink. And then you wear it around your neck like a scarf. It goes right around your neck like that. It's cold and so you get all wet, you wring it out and you put it around your neck and that'll keep you nice and cool for the day. Cooling towels are great. Another nice thing about a cooling towel is like as it gets hot, you can take a cooling towel and you use it to kind of blot your face to kind of cool down. Now, they can be a little bit expensive. Okay, so the cost on these is about $17. You can, and you just, we use them over and over and over and over again, but I'm gonna tell you a little bit of a hack and if you don't mind, I mean, if you like these, if you want a souvenir, these are fantastic. But if you're staying at a hotel, you know they have like a little hand towel when you dry your hands? You can take that little white hand towel put it in your backpack or thing. And we come here, just roll it up, put it under a drinking fountain, and then you put that around your neck and use that little towel, use the same thing, it's almost the same thing. And then just be sure that at the end of your stay, you return the towel back to the hotel. But that's really a very inexpensive way to have a cooling towel if you still want one. But I mean, they are a fun souvenir to have. The number three best tip for having an enjoyable time of during the summer here at Disneyland is hydrate. You guys gotta be drinking enough water. I mean, I cannot stress this enough. Now there's a restaurant right behind me and here's what you can do. If you have a water bottle, you can go up to the counter and you can sell them you have a water bottle. Best. Hey, Promise Park Bass! Oh, <laughs> What's your name? Joey. Joey, is there? this is Joey. We're talking about the importance of hydrating, drinking enough water when you're here at Disney. Oh yeah, very important. Very important. Very important, man. I'm not talking about the importance of hydrating. I'm gonna get right back to that, but I want to show you something cool that most people do not know. Check this out. This is the five and dime band. And if you look at the car, look at the tires, what do you see in the tires? Mickey treads. What? I love that. All right, so we're talking about the importance of hydrating because you want to hydrate. Now you go to a restaurant, you tell them you have a water bottle and they'll give you a water cup where you take a water cup and you can pour it right into your water bottle to keep refilling it. So I mean, after you buy a water bottle, a bottle of water, don't throw it away. Keep that, keep refilling it either through uh, the going to restaurants, getting cups of water pouring it, going to a drink fund, or they have water stations. And I'll show you a water station here in Avengers Campus. All right, so here we are walking into Avengers Campus. Let me show you this. Here in PIMS, you go right here. They have this free co free style Coke, where you click on water, you go like that, and that will allow you to fill up your water bottle right there. Easy peasy. You've got to hydrate. Okay, so the number two best thing you need to know to make your summertime vacation even better here at Disney is sunscreen. Sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. And today is a perfect day to illustrate this. You see the day? It looks like it's cast, uh, it's over cloudy, it's what is it? overcast and cloud, over cloudy. It's overcast and cloudy. And a lot of times when it's weather is like that, people forget to put on sunscreen because it doesn't feel like the heat is directly on you. These are the days that most people get sunburned, like bad, bad sunburns. My uh, brother-in-law is a dermatologist and he's like, overcast days, slather it on. Sunny days, slather it on. What most people don't know is sunscreen takes anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes before it starts to kick in, okay? So if you're at a hotel, put it on before you leave the hotel. That way by the time you get a dizzy, you are good to go. There's nothing worse when you're just like, oh my gosh, we need sunscreen, you put it on, put it on, put it on. For the next 15 or so minutes, it's not really doing anything. It takes a little bit of time before it gets activated. So put it on, do this every few hours. Nothing will ruin your day or your trip faster than being sunburned. You get a sunburn, your ears, 
uh, the back of your neck, top of your head, whatever. Make sure you are using lots and lots of sunscreen. Woo! <laughs> lots and lots of sunscreen. You have to be using it. It'll make your trip so much better. Sunscreen it up. And once isn't enough. You have to sunscreen every two hours. I know a lot of times you'll put it on in the morning and then your little kids are like, you've already done sunscreen. Miles hates it. But uh, you gotta keep putting it on else they will get sunburned. Little kids get sunburned. Adults get sunburned. So put it on a lot. That way you can come down here for a couple of days and have a great time. All right, now let's move on to the number one thing you need to know about how to have an amazing time during summer at Disney. Before I get to the number one tip, I just wanna say this. I wanted you to know that I am talking to you. Do you know that? I am talking to you. And I think you are important and I think you are amazing. And if you're thinking to yourself, well, he can't be talking to me. You gotta get that thought, get that right out of your mind because you are the person I'm talking to right now. I want you to know I appreciate you. I think you're great. I think you do good things. I know that you try hard, and I know that you're trying to make the world a better place. And sometimes you might go a little unnoticed, or sometimes you might be feeling a little sad. That's okay. I want you to know you have a friend in Pearl's Park Pass. Don't you ever forget that. I think you are amazing, and you make the world a better place. You really do. Don't ever forget. Check that out. That's almost as amazing as you are, but not quite. You're even more amazing than that. All right, so this is maybe tip 1.5. Save money. How do you save money when you come down to Disney? Well, it's actually a pretty simple thing to do. If you click the link down below and you buy your uh, tickets to Disney, you're gonna get the best rates you can on tickets. Or if you don't feel comfortable, you're like, yeah, I prefer to do a phone call, you can call 1-855-GETAWAY. Be sure to tell them Portless Park Pass sent you and you'll get the best discounts you can on tickets. Like even cheaper if you went go to buy them directly from Disney, you get a better price on them. Uh, it's the best way to get your hotels, get your tickets, save yourself some money. And that's why we do, that's why I talk about them so much, get away today, because I use them. When I come down here, I book all my vacations through them and, and use them. And I wanted to pass on that savings with you guys, because it's the best way to do it. All right, for reals now, let's get to the number one reason. The number one thing you need to know when you come down here to Disney for during summertime. All right, before we even get to the number one, here I am with my sweet wife, Amanda. Hello. And she's doing a video on how to beat the heat at Disneyland. Uh, you want to hit the subscribe button and that bell notification so when Amanda's video comes out, she's always much more fun to look at and hear her facts than anybody else. And she's going to be talking about ways to beat the heat when it gets incredibly hot here, certain things you can do to kind of beat the heat. Love it. All right, guys, let's get to the number one thing we got to do here to have an enjoyable time during summer at Disney. <laughs> the number one thing you can do to have an enjoyable time during summer down here at Disney is... Just have fun. Enjoy it with your family, your friends. Realize the crowd's gonna be a little bit larger, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be, uh, you're gonna, you might not get all the things you wanna get done at all times, but just enjoy the moment. Actually, the number one thing is hydrate! Drink water, guys. You have to. I can't tell many times people, they don't drink enough water, but for reals, have fun with your family and friends and drink enough water. Water. A while ago, I was like, oh, I don't really want to go to Disneyland during the summertime. Like, oh, I don't know. Now, hi. Now is actually one of my favorite times to come. The energy here is so fun. It's just bright and colorful. The sun is out and shining. You get to ride all the, you know, grizzly river rapids, like all the fun water rides, and just enjoy it. So summertime has turned into one of my favorite times at Disneyland, and Chris has the best tips around to make sure that you have the best trip possible. Hydrate. Hi guys, I would love to get to know you better and get to know you a little bit more and answer any questions that you have. We have a lot of questions and comments that come through our social media and our emails and I wish we could get to all of them. I do the best that I can, but I just can't. But if you join our private community on Patreon, it's the best way where we can answer all of your questions and we get to know you guys a little bit better. It is the most positive, amazing community. Uh, it's so cute because a lot of our Patreon members have been able to meet up and they've been able to become friends and they've been able to have the shared love of theme parks and travel and chit chat and talk, share secrets or just hang out and, and be together. And we would just love to have you there. Plus it's an awesome way to help support our channel so we can continue to bring you 
more of this theme park content. So the link is down below through Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Provost Park Pass. And again, it's a great way where we get to know you guys a little bit personal, uh, more personal too, because we do Zoom parties, we do meetups, all sorts of fun stuff. And we do a Sunday Q&A every single Sunday. So there's always a lot going on over there. But you guys are amazing. And I would love to see you over on Patreon and get to know you better. I gave you tips on how to have fun at Disneyland. Ooh, the most important tip is have fun. Just kidding. It's hydrate. You have to hydrate, guys. If you don't hydrate, you will be so sad. You don't want to be sad at Disneyland. So drink a lot of water. Have some fun. Hydrate.